Good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Feed of Life. Hi, Jay, and thank you. Yes, you made 3.5 overnight. Overnight, because yesterday it was like 3, 4.99, and then it was like the subs were going down, and then we're going up. It's a uh, right. So, welcome, everyone. Uh, today, the power tower is back, you can see. So, today is arms and abs. Uh, it's going to be hard. Um, we're going to start with 30, well, warming up, 30 minutes of cardio, and then arms and abs. We'll see how many, how many uh, pull-ups I'll be able to do, because, yeah, I don't know. I haven't done pull-ups in two days, and it's always a interesting or in three days i don't know no i think on, i think on i think on on saturday before the tattoo appointment i did some pull-ups and then sunday and yesterday now so. cheers i just realized you're probably supposed to like clean probably Clean a, a cup from the outside too. <laughs> Just seeing that now. Well, learn something new every day, right? So let's do the Instagram story. Drive the Instagram story. Then we start with the warm up. Instagram. Okay. <sighs> Live now. I don't know why, but uh Okay. Vamos. So, okay. Instagram story is done. So let's start uh, with circling first to warm up oh we still have to i still have to uh uh put on the pulsera but we can do that once we're done with the warm up now let's circle the wrist the other way around shoulders back and to the front it's getting hotter these days right I gotta open the window right away. Um, slide your arms down the side of your eyes. Down and down. And now add that arm up to I extend that stretch. You feel a nice stretch in your side body, shoulders stay down though, right? Down. Ooh. 
Now up, down and back, up, down, back, right? Up, down, back, up, down, back. And now tap the opposite foot here with your arm, tap and tap and tap and tap, bap, ba -da, ba -ba 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 -ba. To the end of the mat, right? And look at this beautiful little kitty there. Walk out into a plank, right? In a plank, everything's nice and engaged. So we're not hanging down here. We're not here in the weird kind of down dark. No, we're here. Hold it for a moment. And now shift into down dog, aligning your arms here with your back, your bum is up there and you try to straighten the legs and ideally bring the heels to the floor, but if you cannot do that, don't worry too much about it. That one foot goes into the front, into a deep lunge. We bounce a little bit here. Then turn up, reach up to the ceiling with the same arm of the leg that's in front to give you a Find a nice twist. Down. Other side, first of all, the deep lunge and we bounce a little bit. Whew. And then we turn up. Ah, uh, nice spine twist. Back. You're in a forward fold. Pulse a little. And up. Hi, St. Louis. Good morning. Hope your day. Let's circle our arms. Doesn't matter which way because we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna go the other way now. Now let's swing those arms back with a foot tap, tap, and tap, and tap, and tap. Okay, march in place, drink something. And we're gonna start with the cardio because like we, oh no, let's circle our heads first. We forgot that, right? Circle your head gently. And the other way around. Okay, drink something. Maybe walk gently. Or tap from side to side. Hi, Jimmy. Good morning. So, I'm gonna get my wristband, the wristband we need for the to time. Ah, oh, it's, it's turned on, okay. So, no need to plug it in. And then we start with one uh, with uh, 30 minutes of cardio because I'm not supposed to do too much cardio to sweat too much because of my tattoo. So we're not going to do one hour and it's very hot anyway. We need the time to work our upper body, right? We want to get really into that upper body work since we didn't do anything yesterday. Well, not not anything, but little. So um, cardio. One second, I'm going to. Uh, I put some some drops into my eyes. They're really dry. I'm actually supposed to do that more often because I got my eyes lasered like four months ago. Um. So whatever. Uh, we have the cardio tag, and we're gonna start with a one minute, two minute timer, right? So. 30 minutes of cardio, starting in three, two, one, and let's go. First minute, we're marching in place. Hi, Malti. Yes, you have water here. Here you have it. Uh, we're marching in place, right? Just easy peasy marching. Um, and as always, you can come back to the marching or to doing a step tap, which is like uh, a 
uh, also as easy as marching. You can always come back to that, that these moves uh, if anything is too difficult because during that half an hour, I, would, I don't want you to like stop, right? Don't just sit down and do anything. Just like try to move throughout the whole 30 minutes. But if it's just marching like this, it's fine, right? But don't just like sit down, don't drop down in the corner. And, yeah, don't let your pulse drop too much. So first minute done. Second minute is going to be inchworms. So one of my favorite moves. I know you all know it, but it's it's so nice. That's what we're going to do. That's how we do it so often. So what we do is we're here at the end of the mat and then we lean forward, ideally with straight legs, but if you have to bend them, bend them. Then we walk out into a plank pose, right? Into a high plank and then we walk back up again. And you can do that at your pace. We have two minutes uh, of that move. So yeah. No need to rush anything. This is not fast cardio, this is slow cardio, but yes, the important thing is to keep moving. And if you manage to do this with straight legs, it's also a really good stretch, right? But yeah, with bent legs is fine too. Uh, if you're not that flexible, you have to bend your legs to get down here somehow, right? Oof. And back. And yeah, then we're gonna, after the cardio session, we're gonna do pull ups and dips with the power towel and probably we're gonna use the rings as well. And uh, yeah, we're gonna use the dumbbells. And yeah, apps we're gonna do them with the power towel and on the floor. And yeah, we're gonna give our legs or bum a rest today. Although we might do a few exercises for our lower body as well, just like to sprinkle them in. But yeah, nothing too difficult and not too much, not like yesterday. But we did a lot. It's gonna be a little uh Malti just uh just on a on a towel there. I put a towel there because I knew I knew she would like to be on the towel and it's there and she's using it. So the next move um is basically the same. Just that we add um a push-up at the end, right? So we walk out and we do a push-up, and this is just a one minute move, so uh yeah. Not two minutes, just one minute of walking out, push up, and back in. And if you don't want to do the push up, you could just hold the high plank instead. Or if you if you can't do a push up, a really a regular push up, you could be doing a push up on your knees, right? And always remember, if you do push up, it's a moving plank, so you try to have a straight line from either shoulders to heels or knees to shoulders, right? So don't arch your back. If you feel like you're arching your back a lot, uh, then you should uh, do the push-up on your knees first. Because first of all, you have to get your form right. You don't want to hurt yourself. You want to train the right muscles. You want to engage everything. Really focus on that as well. On maintaining that straight line. And up. Woo! Up. Woo! That's it. I'm feeling how my pulse is getting up. Okay, next thing. Two minutes now. We're gonna do reverse lunges. You're standing here, you step back into a lunge and back to the front. The important thing here is you're not like, your foot is not like this. Your foot is tucked. And then you go down. And you can tap the floor with your back knee, but you don't have to. The important part at first is to tuck that back foot to do a correct lunge. Because if, if you don't do it, then it's like more of a split squat and not a lunge, right? Whoop. Not a reverse lunge. Down and up. And you don't have to, you don't have to go fast here, right? You can go slow because we have half an hour. We have two minutes. Everyone can go their pace. The important thing is to keep moving. <sighs> this morning, I went to buy uh, new stuff, new, new wood pellets for the cat's litter box. And we always have to order them one day before so that they have them at the store here. And every time I go there, the guy, it's an old guy, 
he forgets to like recall and say, oh yeah, pick him up tomorrow. Then I go there and then he's like, oh, I forgot them. Every time, every single time, not well, one time not, out of five or six times. And this morning the same. The other times he seemed like, it should be ashamed. This time he's not even ashamed anymore. He's like, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm like, yeah, well. I mean, the store is not far away, but it's like, I was expecting, I, I was expecting the pellets not to be there, to be honest, but still, I was still, when he said that he didn't, didn't have them, I was still thinking, my gosh, like how, for, how forgetful can one be? But he just doesn't care about it, yes. Okay, next thing we do, one minute of push-ups, right, to get those right away. You can do them on your knees, you can do them on your feet, you can do wide grip push-ups, narrow grip push-ups. You can just hold the high plank for this minute if you don't want to do push-ups at all. But I feel like I have to do more push-ups today because I wasn't doing any the last two days. Well, not. I think yesterday we did a few, but very few. Not enough. Down dog to play. I forgot, I thought I forgot. So down dog to playing it. If you don't get your heels to the floor, don't worry, right? It's more about shifting from down dog into playing here. Oh yes, I feel like I'm getting kind of out of breath. I'm getting a good sweat on. Perfect. <sighs> Down. I've got cat hair in my mouth. Ugh. But well, I'm gonna get rid of that later on. Maybe I'll just swallow it. <laughs> I just vacuum cleaned yesterday and there's so much cat hair already. Woo! To the front the back. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Only a few more, right? 30 seconds without move. And then we get up and we're gonna do jumping jacks, either high impact or low impact, whatever you choose for one minute. Two, one. So low impact jumping jacks will be these, and high impact jumping jacks are these, as you might know. Hi, Serge. Good morning. And welcome. Yes, yes. We're like doing, we're like uh, doing more videos, like from when we go some places to diversify the content, right? So you guys get to know where I live because there's so many beautiful places here. And thank you everyone for being here and supporting me in my stream. Oh, enjoy. There's more to come. There's more to come. And I hope that next week I'll be streaming from Berlin a little. So you get to see my hometown. My hometown, my home city, it's not a town. I don't know, I was thinking about even bringing my Sony cam, but I think my cell phone is in there. Okay, next. We're gonna do, arm fire, sorry. We're gonna do a squat and uh, knee to, uh, knee to, to elbow, oh my gosh. 
right opposite knee to elbow when we squat down weight is in the heels we hinge forward with a straight back knees align with our toes and then a twist here Woo. Yeah, and a twist. 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 Woo! Working, yes. We all gotta work. Mauti too. Although Mauti's coming in now to drink. Twist. One more minute. And you can go slow. Yeah, let's see how fun it is. I'm just going to do it to my dad, so now it's going to be fun. It's going to be nice. Although I always hate it when I'm like, when I can't stick to my usual schedule. So uh, it's kind of annoying me already because I'm thinking, oh, I cannot do my usual streams. I cannot do my usual this and that. But yeah, it's going to be fun anyway. I hope it's not going to be too cold. Twist, down, and twist. Twist. Once more, and twist. And now, jumping, jump roping. If you don't want to jump rope, you can march in place. But if you feel like going high impact, jump rope with me. Just one minute, then we go low impact again. Woo. Woo. And we're gonna, uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna make a break soon, or not a break, but we're gonna march for a minute soon to hydrate and stuff. But yeah, one more two minute move, and then we're gonna, March a minute and hydrate. So, if you want to hydrate before, you can always drink. You should always drink when you're thirsty, right? Don't restrict yourself with that. Drink if you have to. Jump rope with your imaginary jump rope. So, the next move, guys, right? It's kind of a combo move. So, what we do here, right? We're here on one side down. We try to get that knee down. If you have to have your hands on the floor, it's okay. Then you come up here. You come over to the other side, down, and knee down. And if you're able to do that without uh, touching your hands to the ground, perfect. If not, don't worry about it. You can have your hands on the floor at all times. It's still gonna be a very good mobility exercise. Right? Good hip mobility. Ankle mobility. Woo. Down and up. Woo. One more minute. Oh, yes. This is a really good exercise. I really like this one. It's kind of weird, but once you get the hang of it, it's really good. Wow. Wow, that's perfect. <sighs> Getting better every day. Woo, up, down, and up. And almost done. Up, up. Uh, march in place. We got to change the timer. Right, march in place. One minute of marching in place and hydrate. Drink, drink, guys. Really good. Uh, 
And I mean, the impressive thing is like, especially when you like lose weight while you're training as well and putting on muscle, in the end, you're actually losing more fat than the weight you've lost because your muscles are heavier. And you put on extra weight for the muscles. Hola, Pep, ¿qué tal? Buenas. Uh, hydrate, 20 seconds. Espero que estés bien. Vale. Entonces, hola también a tu amiga. Pero... Ay, que os gusta lo que ves. Okay, guys, no. Uh, we're back into the down dog. Here, right? A down dog. And then, tap. The opposite, toe, plank, and tap. Tap. Muy bien de verte aquí otra vez. Ay. Tap. In and down. And tap, right? And uh, if you cannot quite get to that toe, the shin is fine. We're just reaching for it, right? There's no need to exaggerate anything here. If you, if you cannot get that close to the leg, it doesn't matter, right? Do what you can. Do what you can. About 10 seconds. Up. 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 Okay, the next thing uh, is... Sí. Hola, Teresa. You can come down here, step back, step back, step to the front, step to the front. This is the easiest version, or you go high impact, and then it's jump. Push up if you want to, and jump back up. Espero que ya te encuentres mejor. Jump. Y que Pep te puede distraer lo bastante bien. And up. To the front, and back. And up. Just a few more, right? And don't worry if you're doing this low impact. No need to do anything high impact if you don't want to. And up. Okay. The next thing we do, adjust your clothes. Wide stance. Down, arm to the side. And then twist. And twist, twist, and twist, twist, and twist. And if you don't quite get your elbow down to the leg, don't worry. Just do tiny twists up here, right? And if you want to take it up a notch, you can go lower, right? We can always go lower and then will be a horrible burn in those lats. Up, up, over, and over. 10 seconds. Woo. Four, three, two, one. Okay. Next thing we're going to do high knees, but to the sides. Right? We did the twisted high knees. This time it's to the side. So elbow to the side. Uh, Knee to the same elbow, right? I'm so sweaty already, guys. And we are almost uh, 20 minutes in, so just 10 minutes to go with this cardio session. Woo! Up! Up! Mousy's hydrating. Very good, Mousy. She's in... She's... One well, my idol, of course, my spiritual leader. Up, up. Ten seconds to go. And then grab your towel. Where's my towel? Grab your towels. Grab your towels if you have a sweaty bum like me. If not, doesn't work. Don't worry about it. And then what we're gonna do is sing a leg jack nice, right? A little bit of at work here. If you don't, if you cannot do that because it's too hard, you could 
bend those knees more then you'll be able to do that and you can always go slower right no need to go fast you can go as slow as you want like you can do it in slow-mo like this although i think it might be even harder <laughs> to do it in slow-mo because that is like no momentum because this move actually has a lot of momentum to it and yeah <sighs> oof i almost hit myself in the face with that knee there <sighs> wouldn't be the first time to knee myself in the face Right? This is like something, if you have like good flexibility, that is something that might sometimes happen to you. Okay, Russian twist. Either with your head, with your feet on the floor like this, right? If you're more of a beginner. If you're advanced, you might take those feet up here, or even straight. And then twist through your torso. <sighs> tapping the floor with your elbow. Bap, bap, bap. Let's go. Don't forget to breathe, you need the oxygen. Uh, I made this bed, this towel bed for Mousy, which has like bumps on it, so she can like have her, have her head higher up than her body and she's, she's enjoying it. I did a good thing there. Oh my, this is burning. Even in my lower abs. Keep going. Just about five seconds. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Woo. Woo. Let's do some flutter kicks here. Eso la verdad que es el, es el disfraz de Paul de Lara Croft que me hizo la amiga por la... El top no, pero esta parte de la chaqueta y esto es para si sí, se lo pide a mi amiga de hacerme un, un traje para hacer pol de que parece el traje de Lara Croft. Ah, guys, I'm so I feel that burn down here in my abs. I'm coming up again. I hope I read the chat right. I have trouble reading the chat from down here. Tengo problemas de leer el chat desde aquí porque no se puede leer muy bien. La pantalla, pero bueno, me levanté, voy a levantarme en unos segunditos y vamos arriba. Uh, run and play. Uh, ah, él se lo dice. Sí, sí. Sí, ese, ese es la, ese es el So let's march in place or run and hydrate. One last time where you can always drink. Gracias. Uh, so, once you're ready, start running again, right? You can run, you can run, you can hide. I'm gonna find you. Okay. My gosh, I'm dripping with sweat. Estoy sudando como una cerda. Eso se dice en español también, porque el alemán te dice estoy sudando como un perro. ¿Se puede decir en español o suena raro? Pop squat. You could either do this if you want to go low impact, right? This is low impact or high impact. Bop. Jump. Bop. And jump. And it's not too hard. Ah, sí, sí, igual. Ok, sudando como un perro. Y es raro porque al final los cerros no sudan, ¿no? Es que no. Y creo no que no tienen esos poros. Sí que tienen poros, pero no tienen... Uh, ah, ¿Cómo se llaman esas cosas? Glándulas sebáceas o algo así. Creo que se dice en español. Uf, he olvidado tanta cosa que he aprendido durante mis estudios. Así que en realidad no sudo tampoco, yo tampoco sudo. <laughs> okay, back to the floor. Uh, we come in this crab position and we tap our hand to the opposite foot. And again, no need to do anything fast here since we're working out 
or we're doing cardio for half an hour, the important thing is only to keep moving throughout that period of time. I'm so out of breath already. Woo! Up and up. is straight and then we twist to one side kick we come twist again to the other side through the bear plank and kick important try to maintain a straight back when you're here in that bear plank right there's just a little moment a little moment that we're in the plank but still don't do not round your back nor have a arched back in order to do that right and your knees are not touching the ground but they're like passing really closely. Whew. And other side. Whew. How much longer do we have to go anyway? Okay. Well, after that, three moves, and then we're done. Boop. Okay. Now you either twist march, twist march, or you twist jump if you go high impact, right? And it's just three more exercises, this one and two more actually. So, queda poco, queda poco gente, y luego vamos a los ejercicios de fuerza. So, just a little longer, and then it's strength work today. Abs and arms, power tower. Yeah, it's gonna be great. I've been missing working out my arms, and it's just been two days that I haven't been doing that. And I already feel like it's been a week. Hi, anime face, welcome. Good morning, how are you doing? Let's twist again, like we did last summer. Okay, now, up with the knee. Back, lunge, and we just do one side here, right? Hi, Abu, welcome. Hi, knee. Back, lunge, up, and up. Right, if you might care, you can have your hands wherever you want. You can hold onto a chair, to a wall for balance. But yeah, if you can do that without holding on, even better, right? Even better, because training our balance is also very important. And remember, in a lunge, our oh, back foot is tucked, it's not like this, no. It's tucked. Down and up. Other side after that, and then we're done with the cardio part. Woohoo! Half an hour of cardio always passing by so fast. Down, up. I think tomorrow we're gonna use the chair again for cardio work. Uh, the leg. Up, this leg is harder for me because I'm struggling more with balance on that side. Although I feel like I'm getting better because I've been doing a few balance moves these past couple of days since I couldn't work my arms. So maybe it has something good to it that I was, couldn't, wasn't able to work my arms. But it has, it, has, it has something good to it anyway because, you, I mean, it's because I got my arm tattooed again, right? Because I'm done with that tattoo now. So nice. The mermaid finally finished. Up. So close, guys. So very close. Three, two, one. We made it half an hour of cardio. March in place, right? Don't stop. Don't just stop and drop down in a corner. March. 
or walk at least so that your pulse is not dropping. And if you don't feel like doing anything else in this cardio workout today, this is totally fine. It's all you got to do. We did abs, we did arms, or legs, a little bit of our back. We got to do some more back work though later. Um, so yeah, if you feel like this was it for you, okay. You're going to do a few stretches and then we're going to do strength work. If you feel like joining me for that, let's do strength work, work out with me or just lean back and chat and chill or go about your day, right? Quick stretch, quick stretches here. Wide stance, All right? Wide stance, and we lean forward. We'll be straight back if we can. Hands to the floor, just one hip up, and then the other. Oh. And twist, back twist here, one arm goes up, the other one stays down. Oh, it feels so divine, isn't it? Muy bien. Eso se siente súper bien. Ah. Oh. Abajo. If you can, with both of your feet on the ground, and then press out here, right? Press those knees out. Ah. Higher up. And side to side here, and up, legs together, quick quad stretch, grab that leg, pull the foot towards your bum, grab that leg, grab that foot, pull the foot towards your bum, knees are close to each other, right, so not far apart, you're close to each other, so you get a nice stretch in that quad and the other side, and of course you can always take your time and hold any stretch as long as you like. Intertwine your hands behind your back. Pull those arms up and shoulders down. Move from side to side. <clears throat> I'm so sweaty, guys. So sweaty. Can you see that? I guess you can. I guess you can. Try to keep the tattoo a bit dry. All right, this is the new, this is for everyone who hasn't seen it yet, right? This one is the one I got, uh, I got done on, on Saturday. Well, it was done already almost like when I got the, I got a color, right? I got a color. Not so much color back here, but yeah. So. What's coming? You guys, you know, you know with what we with, with this this you know with what we always start, right? We gotta do our pull-ups first, right? So that we get those out of the way because they are they're super cool. I love pull-ups. It's but it's a love-hate thing, right? It's also it's also kind of painful sometimes. And right now we're trying to do Seven. Well, actually, I was trying to do six, then we managed to do seven the last week, so actually we have to try to go for seven again. And this is something that's freaking me out again, because I'm not sure if I can do it. Okay. But well, we have to try. Sí, ha quedado muy bonito. Especialmente como todavía quedan algunas partes negras, uh, queda muy guay porque la, los colores luten todavía más. Ah, yeah, we can take this wristband off. Actually, we don't need it. Just for the cardio session, it's not connected to my cell phone anymore anyway. So, uh, if you have a pull-up bar, if you have a, a pull-up bar, you can do pull-ups. If you don't have a pull-up bar, you could be doing push-ups or you could be doing down dog push-ups. So, uh, just come into a down dog, right? Into a down dog. And then you can do like bending your elbows. So your elbows in a down dog, I would say they flare out. Although there's also these push-ups where they go down and it, where they go, where they don't flare out in a down dog, but I would rather let them flare out. And yeah, um, 
everyone who has a pull-up we're gonna do pull-ups I'm gonna try to go for seven <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be able to do that but well you gotta try and uh, yeah if you cannot do that many just do as many as you can or just do the negative climbing up at the highest point holding onto the bottom just lay yourself down slowly and I don't care if you do this grip the chin-up grip the neutral grip a white grip which is way harder than the normal one um, but yeah, go with for the grip you like and then let's just yeah, just let, let's just go for it I'm not gonna count out loud to try to save some of my breath and let's see <clears throat> If I manage to do seven or if I just going to do six or if I'm just going to do five because I'm weak today You never know you never know until you know <clears throat> I'm trying to delay that I'm procrastinating I don't want to do it, but I want to do it to be done with it, right? It's a tricky situation. Whew. Okay. That was five, six, and last one, seven. I barely got my chin over the bar, but I got my chin over the bar, so nice. Good job. Good job. Next time, eight. No, next one is going to be six probably because I don't think I'm going to be able to do seven again. But it doesn't matter. One time seven a day is, is good. Maybe next week we're going to do eight. But yeah, I'm trying to go for seven again with the next set. Although I'm pretty sure I won't be able to. But that doesn't matter. Oh, I'm healthy. No? Ew. Oh. Oh. Me. Marty has a very stressful time because the other cat we have, she doesn't like the other cat. And apart from that, the other cat is in heat, so she's annoying Marty all the time. More, She's annoying her more than usually. Usually, usually. I don't know what's with it, what it is with me and talking these days. Seems to get worse. What? What do you want? Well? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay. Next set. Again, let's try to do as many as we can. Um, if it's just one, it's just one. If it's just a negative, it's just a negative. And if you don't have the pull-up bar and you do push-ups instead or down dog push-up, that's fine too, right? No need, no need to uh, push yourself too hard, but push yourself a little. Push yourself a little. Okay. Let's go. Five. Six. Ah. Okay. This time I didn't make it. Just six and a half. But well, it's okay. It's okay. This one night I had a dream that I was like doing 20 pull ups. Just like doing that and it was super easy and it was like. Oh my god, it's so easy, and I'm just doing one pull up and more and more. And I was just so stunned. And then I woke up and I was like, ah, oh, it was just a dream. Oh well, I was. I mean, I could have. I could have gotten the idea there was a dream in the dream because I mean, why would I be able to do like 20 pull up like out of nothing? Okay. Hmm. 
So now, my sweaty friends, um, now what we're doing, the next set, since we're like training abs and arms, uh, you might know what's coming. We're gonna do three pull-ups, only three, but we're gonna do them with tuck legs, with tuck knees, right? So we're also, enga also engaging our core. And uh, yeah. If you cannot do pull-ups, mm. Instead of pull-ups, but you do have the pull-up bar, you could just hang from the pull-up bar and just tuck your knees. And while I do the three reps, you just hold those tucked knees in to train, to train these abs. And if you don't have a pull-up bar, but you have a dip station, you could just do this on a dip station. And if you don't have any of that, you could do that in between two chairs, right? You could be in between two chairs, tuck those knees so that they're floating and do it there. Right, many ways to do that. I hope you're ready. Ready or not, here I come. You can hide. I'm gonna find you and make you work out. Okay, you ready? I hope you are. Vamos. Vamos a la pla. Okay, I'm procrastinating again. Stop that, Ivy. We're hanging in here, we're tucking those knees, and let's go. One. <sighs> Two. And another one. <sighs> Three. <sighs> Hard. Nobody said this would be easy, right? Nobody said it would be easy. So, let me just really quickly get stuff here. We have to breathe anyway before we start the next set, right? But we're gonna start the next set in a few seconds. In a few seconds. And yeah. Then we're done with the pull-ups, right? One more set, three reps, tuck knees. Let's go. Up. Ready? Tuck those knees and let's go. One. Two. And. Three. Ah. Oh. Woohoo! Yay! Pull-ups, done. Um, good, we're not done with the fun. We're not done with the fun, oh, this rhyme. Everything is rhymes is good, right? Okay, so you can see Malti again, right? Malti's definitely uh, a pretty great addition to the stream. The perfect addition. Yeah. so beautiful. And it's so, so soft and fluffy. You're so fluffy. I'm sorry. So. Um, next thing, next thing, we want to get the really sucky things out of the way, right? So the next thing we're going to do is toes to bars, toes to bars, um, the cam is not straight, like that. So in toes to bars, we hang from the pull-up bar, but we're hanging from that pull-up bar, and we try to bring our toes to the bars and out exercise, although it's kind of full body, but mostly abs, and you can feel it in your shoulders too, to be honest. So we're hanging here, and then close to bar, right? This is it. Um, make sure that those rings don't fall down and maybe hit you in the face or something. If you don't have a, if you've struggled with that, you can tuck your knees, and if you don't have a pull-up bar, you could do single leg jackknives or normal jackknives, right? And we did the single leg ones during the warm up and during the cardio session. So, single leg jackknives will be this. Or a normal jackknife is just both feet up and down. And both up and down, right? So, if you don't have a pull up bar, you can still work out with me, right? No excuses, just huge sweat marks on my yoga mat. 
Can you see them? Yes, you can. Okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna go for ten reps. It's gonna be hard, right? Ten reps is hard. I tell you. The first two or three, you think like, yeah, well, I can do that, and then it's just gonna start to feel really horrible. But horrible in a good way, right? In a good and accomplishing way. The kind of horrible we love. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Multi, still chilling. So, hang in here. Uh, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, halfway through. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, they're getting so hard in the end. I'm not able. I'm not able to get those legs straight no more. It's okay. It's okay. Right. The important thing is to try to push through. We're going to do another set. Wow, these are so, so hard, so, so hard, but they're good, they're really good. I love these kind of bodyweight exercises. I mean, you need a bar, so you technically need equipment, but you don't need much. Wow. This is important at dancing. How was the other dance? The other one I'm trying to learn, I always forget. It's like... Uh, I'm lying, I'm, I'm lying. You need me for some lying. I forgot, I forgot. Ah, shit. Shit. Well, at my age, it's hard to remember that kind of stuff. Okay. Are you ready for the next set? I'll see. I hope you are. If you're not, Get ready, because we're about to start. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, Five, halfway, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. <sighs> My palms are so sweaty, I have to clean the bar. It's getting, it's getting slippery, like a slippery bar. Ah. Drink something. We're gonna give those abs and arms a little rest and we're gonna work on the shrimp squat. I know today we're not gonna do a lot for legs, but we're gonna do the shrimp squat exercise, right? To give those arms and abs a little time to recover before we do the dips. Because although this was an Ab move is also arms because when we're hanging there, it's a lot of shoulder work, grip work, right? So, a shrimp squat is basically a single leg squat um, where you hold onto that foot, you tap the knee to the floor, and you get back up. I'm barely able to do that. So what I'm doing, I'm doing in this assisted one more or less, or an easier one with the yoga block so that I don't have to go that low. All right, so you just have to come to the yoga block and not to the floor. Important is that we're going very slow. The slower we go, the better we train. Muy divertida. You know, super, super aburrida. Ah, bueno, pero eso no, eso no dices, eso no dices de en verdad. Hoy, Pablo, ¿está bueno? 
So, you could hold on to something as well. You could grab that foot. <laughs> and now, that knee down on that yoga block, right? Try to go as slow as you can. Don't crush down, right? Slow mo. Oh, and now slow mo up. And we try to do five reps here, right? Five reps, and then five on the other side, and then back to abs and arms. Down, down, down. Ooh. And up. Hi, Phil. Welcome, kid. Hey. It was number two only, right? Oh my god. These are so darn hard. Whew. Down. That was number three. Yes, it was number three. Number three, two more. On that side. That is my good side. Imagine how the bad side is going to be. Four. Last one on that side. Number five. Five. Ah, y Pepe, he visto que aquí hay un, hay un curso subvencionado de catalán. Y estoy pensando en hacerlo. Vamos a ver si, si consigo una plaza. Creo que, creo que voy a hacerlo. Así que luego te voy a hablar en catalán. ¿sí? Y vamos a decir más que web webcoman. <risa> y además que es muy mayor que ¿no? Pero bueno, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Hatsi. We have the other side. We have the other side. Yeah, we have the other side. Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, are you ready? Thank you, by the way, everyone, for being here, enjoying what I enjoy doing. Let's do the other side. On the other side, I'm probably going to be holding on my finger or something here because I have very have much trouble to keep my balance. But anyway, right? Doesn't matter. The important thing is to do both sides anyway. So grab that other leg, right? Grab that other leg. And same thing. We're going down slowly. I'm, I'm shaking here right away. On that side, I really, I just, I'm just crashing down if I don't hold on to something. And up. I'm just holding on one finger, but that one finger is doing enough. Because if I don't do, if I don't hold on with that one finger, I'm just going up with momentum on that side. It's just not, I think, it's because I'm lacking a lot of balance here. Okay, down. Slowly. Hmm. One finger. <laughs> One finger. No, no, it's, it's cooking. Two. Number three. Ah, okay. Just drop down there. Ah. Number four. Coming up. Four. Oh, we're getting a bit smoother, right? Aye. And last one. Five. Ah. Ah. <sighs> so sweaty. Even the yoga block has a sweat mark now. Look at that. Well, that goes away. Um, we're going to do dips, and the first ones, we're going to do them with rings, because it's harder with rings. All right. It's a pain in the ass with rings. 
So if you don't have rings, you don't need them, right? You could just do the exercise with a, with a normal dip station. But with rings, it's harder. So, you know, I like to take it up a notch once, once in a while. So, you could do that here. On a dip station, you could use rings. If you don't have any of that, you could use a chair or a kitchen counter and have your hands here. The important thing, shoulders are down and elbows don't flare out. They go back, right? Like this. Or what? Straight legs here. Like this. Right? Up to you. Or you use the rings or the power tower or the dip handles. And yeah, I'm going to do one or two reps on the rings. Let's see how many I'm able to do on the rings. It's really, really, really hard because you have to stabilize a lot. So if you have rings and you have never done that before, be careful, right? Be careful, don't hurt yourself. Uh, and yeah, if you are not able to do dips on a like on something that's like uh, stable, like the dip bars, you should probably not be doing them with rings. <sighs> okay, you ready? I don't know if I'm ready actually. I haven't done that since Wednesday last week, I guess. So, up we go. Woo! And then, one. Two. And it's not even like hard because it's hard due to like the dips, but like the stabilization, because you feel like I fell a little mouthy out one second. Okay, bye mouthy. But the hard thing is, right, just to, just to hold them in, just to like not let them drop out. Yeah, this is like the, the thing that's different with the rings, right? You have to hold them close, you have to hold your arms actively close to your body as well, and not just like go up and down, but like you have to go up and down and pull it in. So, very effective. Going to do another set. Ready? Ready or not. One,
three, two, one. Ah, woo! <laughs> Hard work. I think we do another set, right? Let's do another set before we do the dips. Hard, hard but good. Working the abs and the arms at the same time. <clears throat> oh, we haven't tried to do a handstand in a while, right? Let's try that in between sets here. Well, not so bad. Not so good either. Well, okay. Didn't touch the wall, so... Good. Okay. Ready for the rings again? My hands are so wet. I need another towel. I, don't... I stepped into Marty's glass there. Oof. Uh, I need another towel technically, but... Never mind, we're gonna do it with wet hands. It's gonna be more risky, right? No risk, no fun. That's what they say. Oh, well, we can use this towel. Although this towel is like not soaking up sweat so well. But well. Come here. And let's do 10 more of those leg raises. Right, come up here. And one, nice and controlled. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. <sighs> okay. Very good. Let's put those rings aside for, I don't know, the moment or the rest of the string inside. But yeah, for the moment we don't need them no more. Whew. So, we still have to do the dips, right? The regular dips. With the dip station. How many are we gonna do? Well, up to you, right? Always up to you. Um, if you feel like it, you can always up your reps. If you don't know how to do any rep, you can come up to your highest point again, right? Shoulders away from ears, and then just lay yourself down slowly, or do it with a chair or a kitchen counter, because then it's gonna be easier. I'm going to try to go for six or seven, <sighs> right? Maybe more. And yeah, dips again. It's dips again. And I don't really care what you do with your legs. You can lay them straight. You can cross one over the other. It dip like where, how, how you have your legs kind of have an effect on what part you train more. If you train more triceps or more shoulder or whatever, but like you should choose for yourself what you, where you want to feel it, where you feel more secure doing the dips. And I mean, if you do more sets, you can keep changing that. You can do one set with crossed legs, one set with the straight legs, one set with maybe one set with maybe tucked legs, and then you will notice how that kind of gives you a different uh, sensation and kind of training different muscle groups in, in, a, in a different intensity. So um, up here, ready? I hope you are. And one, two, three, four, five, six, last one, seven. We're going to do another set and then it's going to be abs again. 
And then, after that, we're gonna also work with those nice dumbbells we've got, right? After we work the up, grab the dumbbells for the upper body. What time is it anyway, guys? How much time do we have left? Oh, we still got like about an hour that we can like keep pumping. Pumping, pumping, pumping. Okay, next set of dips. And let's go. One, two, three, getting harder. Four, five, six, and the last one. Seven. When the hot, when the hot, when the last rep is really hard, you know, you're making progress. If all the reps feel the same, then you should up your reps or up the difficulty in order to like um, progress. If you find, if you think like, yeah, I'm at my like, is, this is where I wanna be. I don't need to get any stronger or any fitter or any more endurance. Well, then just stick with what you do. But if you feel like you wanna get better, uh, then yeah, at some point you have to up your reps or the weight or the difficulty. What we do now is abs again. Hanging from the pull-up bar, we're gonna do high knee tucks or high knee pulses. So we're staying in a high knee position with our knees tucked and we're gonna pulse those knees in. If you don't have the pull-up bar, you can come onto the floor and you can either put your hands underneath your bum again, uh, if you feel like you need that, to create that little hole for the lower back so it's on the floor at all times. If you don't feel like you need, you can have your hands by your sides. And uh, then you will be just like tapping the floor like this. I mean, up on the pole, you're going to do the opposite thing, but like doing this on the floor is very easy. So you're here, knees over hips, and never come closer in, nope. And then you tap the floor, and, and this nice and slow. And if you have ankle weights, put them on. It's going to be harder. It's going to be way harder. And for all the ones who have a pull-up bar, we're going to hang from that pull-up bar and do then move there, right? So, arms up. Arms up here. Right? We're going to do 10 reps, only 10. It's going to be hard though, because you're always going to keep those knees tucked in, and that's why we're always going to have like tension on the abs. The abs are always contracted, always working. So, we're hanging, we're tucking, and then as high as you can to the chest. One, two, and shoulders down, right? You're hanging. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. You keep doing that when you're on, the, you're on the floor, or if you're on the floor, what you also could be doing now. The next set, uh, you could be doing windshield wipers, like either with tucked legs like this, or with straight legs, right, to kind of clean those obliques. Um, and what I'm gonna try to do up there is stay in that position with the tucked knees and uh, with the tucked knees and raise towards one side, 10 times one side. Then we go down and then we do 10 times the other side. Um, I haven't tried that before, 
doing 10 in a row. So let's see how hard that is, right? Maybe it's too easy. Maybe it's super hard. We'll find out now. So let's come up here. Hanging from the floor. For me, it's always a bit hard here because I have those handles. They're kind of in the way, but well, you gotta work with what you've got. I'm starting towards my right, but yeah, you can start wherever you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wasn't as hard as I expected, but it's okay. Like, we don't have to do super hard things all the time, right? And in a sec, we're gonna do the other side. How are you feeling? Are you as sweaty as me? I hope you are. I hope you are. <sighs> My nice, nice, nice. Well, it's not new, but like for everyone who hasn't seen it and you just joined, yes, this is what I got done on Saturday, like the colors. The mermaid has colors now. The arm is done. Other side. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's go, guys. Hanging, tucking, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. More upward coming soon. But first of all, we're gonna do some arms. So, grab your weights. Um, mine are six kilogram each. That is roughly 13.2 pound. What we do now, I'm gonna show you without the weights. First, you can do a hammer curl or a normal curl, white curl, doesn't matter. Any kind of curl you like. And you curl, and then shoulder press. Yeah, right? This is what we do now. Three times 10 reps. Um, I hope you're ready. Grab your weights. You can go lighter, you can go heavier, depending on what you usually do. If this is your first time working out with weights, I would recommend you to go lighter. Then you might think you would need to, just to like get the gist of it. And ideally do this in front of a mirror so you can see what you're doing and you can see if you're doing correctly. So. Okay. Let's start. Right, so standing here, no kipping, no, if you're wobbling like this, then your weights are too heavy, right? You're standing here like micro bends in your knees, everything is uh, engaged, but we're just moving those arms. Curl, turn and up. Right, nice and controlled. And Two. Three. Four. If you're shaking too much, five then you could also just like stop at six or eight reps it's fine too six seven Eight. Woo, 
Getting shaky here. Just two more reps for me. Nine. And last one. Ten. And yeah, if you are shaking, it's no problem, right? You can shake a little, but I don't want you to wobble. Like if you feel like your, your arms are shaking, well, that means you're doing a lot of work. Um, but you should have, you should do quality reps, should be good reps. So if you feel like you're starting to like lift up like this, then like you're actually taking work out of the arms and then just work with uh, less weight because like you're not doing the exercise right. It's not that you're lifting those six kilograms or whatever you're lifting the way you should be lifting them, right? So not like, <sighs> right? We're doing slow, nice control wraps, pure strength. And yeah, if you need to dial it down a notch, like if you do it with less weights, do it with less weights and do it correctly. If you, if it's too easy, have your weights, right? One more reps. My hands are drenched in sweat. They're so soaking wet. Each time I touch them, my fingers are wet. Look at my fingers. They look terribly. The hands of a person who's doing pole dance and aerial silk. Look at those hands. Well, they're very, they're very grippy. <laughs> I hope I didn't disgust you there. But yeah, you know, I need that. I need that grip to be able to do pull in area still. Okay, let's go. Second set. So we're standing here, right? Nice and strong. Uh, we'll curl and up and down. And curl and up. That's two. Three. Four. Five. The slower you do that, the harder it is. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. And last one. Five, ten. Ah, one more set, one more set. I need new water soon. Look at that. Not much left. Thirsty. I wonder. Uh, I wonder the temperatures today. Probably very hot. Twenty-eight degrees. That's not that hot, but ah, uh, but what's the what's the uh, sensación corporal 30, bueno. Last set. And you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, guys. Let's go. So, 
this. Uh, one. Oh, that's all the... Two, how you doing? Welcome. Three. And thank you for, uh, thank you everyone for uh, enjoying the stream, for subscribing, for liking. Four. Five, halfway through the last set. Six. Ah. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. I do feel that in my shoulders. My gosh. And ten. Ah. Vale, gracias por estar aquí y que lo paséis bien y muchas gracias, Pep, muchas gracias Teresa y que tengáis un buen día. Hasta luego. Adiós. The light bulbs, like what? What? Like you mean the? Do you mean the 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 the, 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 the dumbbells? Do they look like light bulbs? Oh, every time I touch my pants. They're so, so wet. Oh, you mean, you mean the, the, ah, the bulbs on my hand, these. Yeah, they're just like for grip. This is like, you know, it's like when the, the dogs and cats, they have this like stuff on their paws and I have that on my paws. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, um, here. If you have a chair, grab a chair. Because what I want to do now um, is for a back. Right? You put one hand on the chair, feet wide, back is straight, right? And then we're gonna row up here with one weight. Right? So. I mean, you could probably do that like against the wall or on a kitchen counter as well, right? Make sure that your back is straight, your elbow is not flaring out, right? Not this, we're going to do this and we're rowing up. So grab one of your weights and let's do that. First of all, one side and then the other. So nice stance and then let's do 10, th uh, two, three, Four, no, let's do 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. And down. Other side. Welcome. I cannot read what you're writing, but welcome, welcome, welcome. If you want to chat with us, please write in English, Spanish, or German so that we can understand you. So, other side. Other side, right? Here. Weight. Leg. And 20 reps. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shoulders away from ears. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. We're going to do the other side again. Right, we're going to do two reps, uh, two sets. Whew. This is good for, for triceps, for back, right, shoulders. Ready? Hand down here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One. Ah. Ah. About the thing, Sean? Huh? What does that mean? Yeah, yes, yeah, so, but what is, it, what is that supposed to mean? Like a slingshot or something, or you shoot someone. Huh, I don't know. Now yeah, we might have to delete that then. Who knows who that means? Yeah, you too. It could be, it could be something offensive. It doesn't have to be, but definitely could be. Ah, uh, but my chat is not... My chat is not working right now. So I cannot do anything. Come on. Okay, now it, there it is. So. Yeah, in case. Yeah, I'm sorry, Russian dude. We don't understand what you're meaning, so we have to delete that. <laughs> Your neighbor told you... Why? Why would he do that? What's wrong with the people? Did we do the other side yet? No, I think we have to do this side still. I can understand that, like, if it's... For no reason, like, why are, why are people... That, there's just too many dumb people on this planet, right? Okay, other side. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I don't know, but maybe he had a bad day, but I mean, that's still no excuse, right? If you have a bad day, then be grumpy or don't talk to people about like insulting other people. It's just like so childish. Whew. Okay. We could actually almost use that as a bench, right? Oh, but I'm not sure if this is a good thing. Wait a second, I'm going to get another towel. I hope the stream will make you feel better again. You shouldn't let yourself get upset with dumb people. There's just too many in the world. So if we would use that as a... Could we like, no, we cannot. Like if we do flies here, do you think that works? But well, yeah, let's try that. I don't know if it, if it will work, but we might as well try. 
And I'm going to do it the other way because if not, YouTube is going to demonetize my video, you know? So, uh, so what we do, you just saw me doing it. We're on our bench or even on the floor. We have our weights and then, right, we do the flies, chest flies. And if you have a bench, you can go lower down. If you don't have a bench, then you cannot go lower down. We're going to go for 10 reps, three seconds. And I have to push to that side. So let's see how that works. I don't know. The problem will be getting up there with the weights, I guess. Hi, Terry. Welcome. Thank you. And welcome, welcome, welcome. So this is the first time. I'm trying this the first time with a chair. Let's hope I'll, I'll make I'll manage to do that. So. <laughs> Up here, right? And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess a bench would be technically better because the chair is a bit broad, but well. Anyway. Good. We're gonna do two more sets. Two more sets. Two more sets, guys. Whew. And then we're gonna do some more apps before we do more. Uh... I wanted to adjust the, the earplug here, but I don't even have one in there. <laughs> okay. Come closer. Again, I get those weights closed. <laughs> you just happened to stumble across the screen. Thank you, thank you, and welcome, welcome to our stream and to our workout. <sighs> You're probably working out too, <laughs> or enjoying. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, you ready for the next set? Nice and controlled. One, two, three, shake it, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Soon. Ah. Oh. <laughs> You're in Houston. Nice. I've been on the airport there. It's like 15 years ago, but I had to change planes there once. Uh, I'm I am in I'm in Spain I'm living in Spain actually like uh, to be like more concrete like on an island in the Mediterranean Sea but originally I'm from I'm from Germany but I've been living here for 10 years so yeah and I'm gonna stay here right the weather is better people are relaxed we have the ocean although right now I'm living in the middle of the island so it takes me like an hour to get to the ocean by bike but that's okay right that's okay Do, 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 do. So, next set, last set. Wow. I should stop touching my my shorts because every time I touch them, my hands are so wet again. Because I'm so sweaty. So sweaty already. Whew. So, arms uh, back onto your bench or your chair or the floor. 
We look for those weights. Where are they? One, two. You ready? Ready or not, here I come. You can hide. Gonna find you and make you work out. This is rep number two, right? Number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. <laughs> Taken. And ah, ten. I just have work on. And high long little people. Whew. Yeah, I can be your personal trainer. <laughs> what the tattoo make? It's a it's a it's a cat skull. It's hard to see right now. It's a cat skull with like Ling's ears. Okay. And uh it's uh, I've wrote a book in German, right? In German, I wrote a science fiction space opera in German, and one of the characters she has a tattoo like that, and this is why I got it. So, but well, this book is just available in German, so I'm sorry, guys, you cannot read it if you don't speak German. But maybe someday it will become a Netflix series. You know, I'm still hoping for that. So, um, let's put those weights aside for the moment. And if you have ankle weights, grab those, right? If you have ankle weights, grab the ankle weights because we're going to do more ups on the power tower, but this time with some extra weights to it. So we put the ankle weights on. My ankle weights are one kilogram each. So this is two kilograms on each leg, four kilograms in total. That would be uh, two point, uh, 4.4 pounds on each leg for a total of eight. Point eight pounds and yeah Whew. oh my I'm so sweaty it's so unbelievable it's not that hot today though it's not that hot and still I'm like melting yeah. and for everyone who doesn't have a power tower you can, as always, uh, do stuff down here on the mat, right? Just like, for example, these. You can do these. You can do flat cliff and flutter kick, right? Ah. Whew. First 30 years in your car. It's it's hot. It's, well, I don't know. Well, I don't know about London, but like here, it's still it's hot again. Although it was like kind of like rainy the last days, it's not, the temperatures didn't like, they dropped, but like not really. I mean, they dropped from 35 degrees to 30 or 28. So, whew. Let's come up here. And what we do now, yeah. Because the car, car's always getting like too hot. I remember like, even Berlin, where it's like not that hot in summertime, it's terrible. Like, you go by car if you don't have aircon. And then my dad, he used to have like, we used to have like really old car, like a really old uh, Volkswagen. And like the aircon was, the aircon and the heating was terrible because it was smelling so bad. Like, I would, with that one, when I was like uh, going with them in that car, I would prefer the aircon not to be on actually because like it would smell really bad. <laughs> I don't know why I remember that now. Hola, Yanko. ¿Qué tal? So, uh, we're hanging here and we're doing knee tuck. Ten, right? Ten knee tucks. Hanging from the pull-up bar. Knee tucks all the way down, all the way up. So it's one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wasn't as hard as I thought. My hands start to hurt though, from all the hanging. Uh, we do another set. <laughs> thank you thank you and yeah we're live a lot so feel free to drop or to come by tomorrow again tomorrow same time same place friday as well right we're live monday friday wednesday and monday tuesday <laughs> wednesday and friday except for next week because next week i'll be visiting my dad so next week i'm gonna write a, write a community tab a beauty post about it but next week we won't have the stream on wednesday and friday the usual stream because I won't be here but I'll be seeing that we make some streams from Berlin so I can show you the neighborhood I grew up in right that's my plan um, but yeah let's see let's see okay next thing we come up onto the dip station you can do that hanging down as well bye bye ya te vas ya te vas Yanko o como Si dices bye bye. O te quedas un poquito para entrenar. So let's come up here. Arriba. And then we twist. One, two, twenty times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, yeah. Woo. And actually, I wonder if we are. Oh, yeah, now we're gonna do uh, curls. We're gonna curl on one side, on the other. I'm gonna do eight reps, and then the other side, eight reps, because it's hard. And then we're gonna move to the floor and do exercises on the floor, right? I'm just gonna grab one weight. You can go with two though, right? So, I'm curling. I'm making eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ugh, eight. That's getting better. Uh, my weights are six kilogram, by the way. This is six kilogram. So it's roughly 13.2 pounds. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side again, and make sure when you do that, that again, you're like not wobbling like this, right? It's not high, it's not Momentum. We try to do that with our strength. So, stand strong. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is so hard. Now, this side. One, two three four five six seven eight once more on the side one two three four five six Seven, I'm shaking. Eight. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. 
down. We still have the ankle weights on. Um, I'm going to take a super quick break, right? Not a long one. I'm just going to refill my water since it's empty. So take a break, do what you want to. Get something to drink. Get something to drink, go to the bathroom. I'm going to go to the bathroom too. And then I'll be back in one or two minutes. I'm going to run an ad break because I won't be here, but you're not missing anything because, yeah, I'm not here. So, uh, yes. right? I'll see you in a second. There we are again. More water. And we're going to move it to the floor. So, come to the floor. So guys, um, yeah, now on the floor, we're going to do apps and, uh, oh yeah, probably also some skull crushes, but first of all, apps. Uh. And then at some point we start to stretch as well, right? I'm sorry that it takes, that I'm like still like, we're not working out right now, but we will, but, but we will work out. We will work out. So, now, if you have, if you have this nice booty ball, right, then grab that. Grab that one. And then you can put that underneath your bum. Uh, if you don't have that ball, don't worry about it. Instead of the ball, you can again like just put your hands underneath your underneath your bum and do the same, right? Kind of works the same as the ball. Prevents the lower back from like uh, arching. 
so but if you have a whole bowl underneath that booty right legs up and i'm still wearing my ankle waist so it's still a two kilograms extra weight on each leg your hands can be at your sides they can be over your head i never ever want you to pull these knees in because this is going to make it easier and we don't want that we want it to be hard so legs stay here the shape of the knee is not changing and then we tap the floor with one leg and with the other one right and don't pull the knees in too close you should be really feeling that in your lower abs this is that it looks easy but after a few reps you'll notice that it's not especially if you're using ankle weights if you're not using ankle weights maybe it's not going to be that hard then you could do both legs at a time it's going to be harder we're going to do that too so but yeah and, yeah. and you might also feel that in your quads they are working as well right up. and up. and keep tapping the floor working your abs with ankle weights is such a good thing because it's making everything so much harder now let's stay up here and let's go up and down 10 times with both if you're not doing that anyway one two and just tapping down right you're not resting your uh the weight on the floor three four i'm shaking five six seven eight nine ten don't worry about the ball <clears throat> And you can take the ankle weights off now. I know we didn't use them for a long time, but yeah, no need. They they serve their purpose. And we're done. We're gonna do some planks now. I'm gonna grab my cell phone so that we can timer that. Right. Because we're gonna do side planks and forearm planks and yeah. We're gonna have a lot of fun with them. I love planks, you know that. Or you don't. But then you know now. So. So what we do here. First thing I want to do is a uh, forearm plank. You can do the forearm plank on your arms. You can do the forearm plank here uh, uh, on your arms anywhere. You can do it in the swings pose, in a triangle pose. I don't want you to lift your bum too high up. Right, and then we're going to do dips to the side. I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're not up here, right? Everything nice and engaged. And we're going to dip or we're going to rotate our hips to the side. Side, side, side. This is this. As you can see, I'm not using, I'm not moving my feet too much, right? This is just really a move from the midsection. And what we're going to do, uh, we're going to do that for one minute. I'm using a timer here. We're going to do it for one minute and then we're going to do a 30 second isometric hold of the forearm plank, right? So, if you're ready, let's go. Right? Time is starting now. So, rotate from your midsection, right? You don't arch your back, nor are you making a round back. And your bum stays low, right? We're not in a weird dolphin or a down dog pose or anything. We're trying to have more or less, more or less like straight line from shoulders to heels while we're doing these twists here. Twist, twist, twist. It's hard, I know. I'm suffering as well, but well, that it is what it is. We want to get strong abs, right? So this is what you got to do. Move your bum from side to side. Just about 10 seconds to go. Then the isometric hold. 30 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Isometric hold. Everything is engaged here, right? Your shoulders are engaged. Your abs, of course, are engaged. Your bum, your legs. 
<sighs> and you keep breathing. You can make this as hard as you like. And so close to the end. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, down. How should I that, huh? Good, good up work. Set your shoulders a little bit. Drink something. Next thing, side planks. So, what we do here, same, not the same thing, but we also do one minute of dynamic work and then 30 seconds of an isometric hold. And what we do, the first 30 seconds, you can also do the side plank on your knees here, by the way, important shoulder away from ears and the elbow underneath the shoulder and then either on your knees or on your toes the first 30 seconds we're going to bring knees and elbow together and then we're going to do dip hold and you could be doing that on your knees here right you can do this this works too right this works and then holds here holds and then the isometric hold Thank you. Yeah, it's really good, right? We're growing. We are growing. We had a lot of good videos and good streams. I hope this month will surpass the last one as well. Yeah, so we're doing great. We're doing great. We are simply the best. Dun, dun, dun. Better than all the rest. So, right? Ready? Let's go. One and a half minutes. Doable, right? Okay, we're up here and we start with that. Bringing the elbow and the foot together in that side plank. In and in, in and in. Halfway through with that exercise. Hi, Ramsey, good morning. And it's five, four, three two one down and pulse just pulsing for 30 seconds and then we hold it for 30 seconds well these pulses feel so much easier than the other exercise right shoulders away from ears no slouching if you feel like you're slouching i uh, better get on your knees and do the exercise there no shame in that my weekend was great, it was really good. Okay, isometric hold. Just hold it. Again, shoulders away from ears, everything is engaged. My weekend was really good. I went to eat a smash burger that was really yummy. I went, the Friday I went to a night market, which was good. We had some really good fish there. And on Sunday also, in the morning we went to, where did we go? Ah, there was a, a, a melon festival close by. We went there too. That was really nice as well. And 30 seconds are over. So, was it very fun? Ah, and on Saturday I got tattooed, right? I got this arm. It's ready now. The tattoo is done. Right, for everyone who hasn't seen it, like I've, I've been showing it a lot. There it is, right? There it is. There you can see the mermaid. And there it's colored. It has color now. So, other side. Sun. Side plank. Sound plank. Oh my god. The side plank. Same, same thing. 30 seconds knee to elbow. And then 30 seconds pulsing. 30 seconds isometric pulse. And. Maybe I'm gonna do it down here. I'm not sliding out. Let's go. And in and out. Right. 30 seconds with that move. I know this one is hard. If it's too hard, come down onto your knees or just start with the dips right away. You could be doing one minute of 
dips or dip pulses as well if you prefer if you're not able to do this this move but it's just 10 more seconds Whee! i'm wobbling and five four three two one and now the dips Ooh, i'm kind of twisting here up 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 ah keep breathing Strong up. 10 seconds to go, then the isometric hold. <sighs> Two, one, hold it. Just holding just the stretch, I wanted to say. Just holding the side plank. Keep breathing. Shoulders away from ears, elbow underneath or shoulder. We're not twisting like you're not inwards or chest is open. And we're almost done. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Down. <sighs> okay. You know what's missing? I said we wanted, we have to do some back exercises. And this is what we're going to do. You know, there, you know them if you know my screens. They're not super hard, but they're really good for backs, for a lower body. And that's why we do them. So, flippity flip it over, right? Come onto your belly here. And what we do is, uh, I'm going to put the timer up again and we're going to lift one leg up and pulse it up for 30 seconds and then we're going to pulse up the other leg for 30 seconds, right? And when you do that, make a mind-body connection that you're not just using those glutes, right? You're also using your lower back, the strength of your lower back. And let's go. One leg goes up. And if it's not going up really high, don't worry, um, this is normal. If you don't have a really very flexible lower back, then you're not gonna lift your leg up very high there. But as long as you can feel it in your glute and in your lower back, you're doing everything all right. And almost done with that side. Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, up there, hand pulse right the other foot the other top of the foot is pressed firmly into the floor up 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 ah yeah, that feels good huh getting stronger almost done three two one down okay Let's give that lower body, or well, let's give that lower back a little pause before we lift both legs up. Um, and what we do now, it's good for the arms, it's good for the lower back. You can decide um, what you want to train more in that. If you feel like you don't need to train your back, you might want to like uh, put the focus on your arms. If not, try to lift more with your back and have your arms just as support. So what you do here, Half cobra push up. So hands underneath your shoulders. The elbows don't flare out. They're in here. And then you come up and down. And you can have your hands here for support, or you can actively push up with your arms, right? Actively push up with your arms. You want to train those arms, or just have the hands for support and pull up with your upper back. Whatever you do, right, it's fine. Depends on what you want to train. I'm trying to pull up with my back because I feel like my back needs some more training here. And we're going to train the triceps anyway with the weight because we're still going to do three sets of skull crushing or supine um, triceps extension. Same thing, right? Up. And yeah, listen to the bot guys. Thank you so much for being here for enjoying what I enjoy doing and Yeah Thanks for working out with me
thanks for your support for any comment and just for watching lurking liking subscribing becoming a member right this is also an option you can become a member coming up 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 Oh yes, very nice. Shoulders down, by the way, away from ears. This is like usually the credo. There's very few exercises where you want to pull your shoulders to your ears. Maybe shoulder shrugs. <laughs> up and down. Up and down. On the next one, stay up there. Lift the arms off the mat and pulse up. Just the upper back. Ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down and now. Ah, we're gonna hold both legs up here, right? For thirty seconds. Just thirty seconds, right? Both legs up at the same time, and make that mind-body connection that you are lifting with your glutes, but also. Uh, but also with your lower back. Let's go. Pulse up. And if you feel like this is hurting your pelvis, you might want to put a cushion underneath or double fold your mat or get a thicker yoga mat or something like that. Pulse up. Up, up, up. Halfway through. This is going by fast. It's just like to train those little muscles. Train the lower back a little bit. Three, two, one, down. Okay, let's flip it around and let's let's grab the weights again for these supine triceps extensions or uh, skull crushes. Wait. So again, for everyone who just joined, my weights, hi Rob, welcome. Good day. My weights are uh, a six kilogram each. This is uh, about 13.2 pounds each weight. So yeah, you can go lighter, you can go heavier. You decide. Important is that you don't want to wobble. I'm going to show you the exercise once without the weights, right? The heavier weights here, nice and strong. And then you bend the elbows and extend them. And you're like not moving the arms here, like no. The um, upper arms, they stay strong. And you're bending that elbow. You could just, you could grab hold one weight with two hands as well. If you just have one or if you just have a heavy one or if your weights are too heavy. <clears throat> and yeah, we're going to do three sets with 10 reps. We're very close to the stretching part, by the way, guys, right? Don't worry, we're gonna stretch soon. Are you ready for the first set? Yes, I, yes, you are, or you're not, doesn't matter, we're gonna start. Join in later if you have to. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, down. Oh. Two more sets, quick breather in between. And yeah, we're very close to the stretching part, guys. Little up exercises to, uh, uh, for the, after that, and then, then it's stretching. Stretching, fatness. <laughs> we're gonna use the ball for the stretching again as well, right? So. 
Grab those weights. Up. And one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Halfway. Six. I'm shaking. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ah. Last cup of tea, nice. Last of tea, sweet strawberry and cream flavor pizza. Sounds nice. Oh. Oh. My tea is empty already. I drank, I drank it at the beginning of the stream. I'm gonna have more tea later though. More tea. I'm feeling like today for the for the stream, for the No One Survive stream, I might prepare like a big jug of jasmine tea again. Haven't done that in a while, but I feel like it's about time to do Last set. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Oh, two more. Shake in. <laughs> Nine. Ten. Ugh. So. Okay, guys. Scratch your nose if it's itchy. And then the last exercise here before uh, before we <laughs> gonna get into the stretch. So if you're a beginner, you could have that leg on the floor and that leg up, and then you even bend if you want, and then you do the then you do crunches here. If you're advanced, both legs are floating. You can have this one bend as well if it's too hard to have it straight. But ideally, both are straight. And we're going to do 10 crunches on that side, then 10 on the other. And in total, three sets on each side, right? So let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I'm sorry for all the counting. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last side. Last twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done with the workout. 
30 times. Woohoo! Uh, let me quickly check my eye because ah okay, I have a I have a lash and eyelash in there. I was thinking maybe it's cat hair. No, but it's my own. My own lash. Where is it now? Somewhere where I cannot see it no more. Huh. As long as it's not annoying me. I'm gonna put some eye drops in there. Some cordelia. So. Stretching! Let me quickly change the music. And the tag. Up. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Hi, Father Life. Welcome. How are you doing? So, we are done with the workout. So we're going to stretch. Okay, and if you have a band, let's grab that band right away. If you don't have a band, you could use a towel, right? And we're also going to use the ball soon. But first of all, let's grab that band here on our back still. And then we're going to put that band around our foot. Or maybe instead of a band, we're going to put a towel around that foot. And then we can pull the foot in. And, may, and you might be back here or you're more flexible and you're further to the front. However, you do that with using the band or a towel, it's more comfy because you don't have to pull up or anything. It's just, it's just easier. <laughs> Pulling that leg in. So you feel a nice stretch in the back part of your leg. I feel like I have to sneeze. Maybe I have, maybe I don't have to. Well, you'll find out soon. Now you could leave the band on or you could grab your heel or whatever and then try to move that leg out to the side. Right. Like that. In. And let's do the other side. Pull in. And one leg might feel tighter than the other, totally normal. That happens to all of us. And to the side, if you can. Ah, nice hip opening stretches. We're going to do the other side once more, but this time we're going to stretch, or we're going to straight, and we're going to have the back leg straight, and then both legs are straight now. Right, pulling in, just pulling in. And if you're back here somewhere, fine, right? No need to hurt yourself. Stretching takes Let's switch legs. Side, pull. Okay. Put that <laughs> away. That poop away. <laughs> and legs up here. Arms to your sides, and then you roll your legs or you drop your legs to one side while your shoulders are both both staying on the ground so it's a nice twist in your back and you should also be feeling that in the outer thigh and the bum of the leg that's on top here 
and then the other way. Make sure not to pick your cat's water glass in case it's somewhere there. And then, if you have an exercise ball, go get your exercise ball! If you don't have one, uh, you can do these exercises kind of on the floor or instead of the ball. You could use a chair for many exercises. So, first of all, you're just gonna sit down here on the ball and you're gonna bounce shortly, right? Just a quick bounce. My, my head is not in the picture, but that doesn't matter. So, bounce for a moment. Hi, Chef Martin. I don't know what you're trying to say there. So, let's bounce a little. Let those shoulders hang. Right? So that you're really relaxed here and then lean forward over the ball. Rolling back and forth here. Back and forth. Oh. Then down. Right? Then you have that ball here. And now we're going to stretch your shoulders. And if you don't have the ball, that doesn't really matter, right? If you don't have the ball, you can just easily do that stretch that I'm doing right now on your, uh, on the, on the chair. Oh no, why is it, why am I, I didn't want, <laughs> sorry. Here, because we need it later, right? We need that later for the uh, side splits. Hi, Raymond. Yeah, we're going to do that, but we're going to do that later, like bit by bit, right? It's my show. So, first of all, the shoulder stretch, you put the ball on top of that, and the hands on top of the ball, and you roll out. And you lean down here, and you could be doing that with your hands on a chair as well, or even with your hands on the floor, doing a puppy pose, right? Feeling a nice stretch in those shoulders there, where my nose is still itchy. Yeah, there's so much cat hair everywhere. Bounce a bit. And up again. Now, come onto the ball with our hips, right, with our hips. We kind of stretch our back, we roll forward, roll, roll, roll forward, right? A little bit until everything is up there and then we roll a little bit back and forth, right? Just a little to give our, our back a massage. I know that we're not on the ball with our back, but still we're like rolling our back moving it so oh, this is really good for me i don't know about you and down here oh. hands on the floor let's just hang for a moment back and forth again back and forth bounce for a moment let go of all the tension of your lower back, but make sure that your lower back is on top of the ball so that you, because like if it's too much in front, then you're gonna hurt your lower back so you won't be on top of the ball. Bouncing and roll back. Oui. Right. And now uh, you could do this again with your. Um, with the chair, but like the ball is nicer because we can roll back and forth. First of all, let's drink something, right? It's always good to drink. Ah. 
And what we do now, we put one leg on the ball here, right? One leg on the ball and then the other leg goes up and we pull that in. Um, and we try not to come off the floor here, right? You neglect stretching? Yeah, well, some people do. I, I mean, it's easy to neglect, just like doing other stuff, but it's so important, right? For mobility and to feel good. But yeah, I can, I feel you there. Sometimes I, for example, I always used to neglect like leg work, but well, now I'm like doing that more. So either grab your calf here or grab your thigh and pulse in, right? Pulsing in. while the other leg is back and then at your like highest or at, at your uh, at the point where you can pull that leg in through this without like rolling up here right we're not rolling up like we're staying down here then edge extend and then the back leg hi the deal for real that was the only life in your suggestions yeah well uh Depending, depending on how many people are streaming, right? I mean, I think YouTube is not the place where so many people are streaming. So this is maybe why it was the only live. I mean, there's people streaming, of course, but like, I don't know, like most people stream on other platforms. It feels like. Hi, Lyndon, what do you mean by that? In and out. You're not even leaving a leg? Well, you don't have to, right? This is a free world. You can like what you like and you don't have to like stuff that you don't like. Wow, philosophical, right? <laughs> now, let's stay here, like let this back leg being loose. And then you can, if you're more flexible, if you're not more flexible, then you might still be here just like trying to pull in, right? Which is fine. And trying to leave that leg straight right that leg straight at all times and if you um if it's too hard for you to get it closer stick for that or here but if you feel like you can go the extra mile try to grab the heel here right the heel and then you try to open up to this side right into kind of a fake split right because this is not actually a split and I have to go a bit back so you can actually see that. <laughs> right, because this is not actually a split. It just kind of looks like a tight split. So, and then in and out here again. And maybe both. In. Down. For a moment and now it's going to get even more advanced so if you had trouble with that right so if you have trouble with that then uh just grab the leg again and stick with the exercise yeah well everyone is entitled to their own likes and opinions so don't worry about it don't worry about it and if you can grab the call and if you're even more flexible this is very advanced though you want to bring the heel the heel the knee to the mat right the knee to the mat and then maybe maybe you can even bring that knee behind your shoulder thank you yeah, I'm trying to be nice. It's important like to be nice and kind, right? Why be not nice? Now, if you get, <laughs> if you manage to get that knee behind the shoulder, that's perfect. And then the next step would be with the opposite arm, grabbing that leg and extending it like that. And then bend and extend the back leg. Bend and extend. 
right. Okay, hold it. And let go. And we gotta do the other side, right? Because you always have two sides and it's important to do both. Um, yeah. So, other leg goes up on the ball. Right, the other leg goes up there. Aye. The other leg goes up there. And we start with the easy exercise that almost everyone can do. And again, you could have your leg on a chair there. So you start here holding that thigh, right? Your bum stays here on the floor. Or you're holding the calf. Wherever you add, it's perfect. And then you can, if you, if you have a ball instead of a, instead of a chair, you could roll that back like in and out and always think about you always want to have that leg straight here right this leg is supposed to be straight in and out out and in and out and out and out okay now again if this is where you if you're already struggling with that or if you're just holding onto your thigh here you stick with that if you're more flexible though you might want to grab that thigh and that thigh my gosh like my english something is suffering the heel and down 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 open up and be kind of in a fake split here maybe <laughs> and in and out with the other leg in and out in and out and in and out and back in and yeah what we're going to do now the super advanced thing where we get the shoulder at the shoulder my gosh like what's happening with words why am i mixing up words get the knee behind the shoulder um if yeah, again, if you were struggling with the other exercises, stick with this one. With this. But if you feel like you can take it up a notch. Shoulder and shoulder and knee together. Or behind that. Ah, like that, right? Ta -da! And then you grab that ankle with the opposite arm. Oops. And you try to not hit the dumbbells and extend that leg. And then bend and extend the other leg rolling the ball back and forth if you can if you have a ball if you just have a chair obviously you're not going to do that and in and out in and out and hold it for a moment and then let go <sighs> Shake it out. Away with that. Away with that. And now let's do a down dog, right? Let's come into a down dog. So, in a down dog, you align those arms with your back, right? And you try. So first of all, I'm going to get the towel. I'm going to put the towel away because I don't need it right now. Uh, all right, it's just... <laughs> um, because I don't need it right now, right? So I'm just sliding out on that. You've never been a fan of tattoos? Yeah, well, luckily everyone is different. Wouldn't it be super boring if everyone was the same and would like the same stuff, right? Diversity is the key. So, arms out here. We align our arms with our back, right? Straight. And then the bum is up and ideally your legs are straight, but if you cannot get them straight, don't worry about it, right? Then just leave them bent. I have pet hair in my eye. Um, and ideally you would even get those heels to the floor, but if you don't, oh, no problem. And stay here. 
keep breathing. If you're sliding out too much, that might be a sign that you need a stickier yoga mat, right? A yoga mat is a game changer, right? A good yoga mat, I tell you. Now, let's lift one leg up and bring it in between the other two, between the other two legs, of course, between the hands. And then we're in a pigeon pose, right? And if you're a beginner, you might be up here. If you're more advanced, then you might be lower down. Push those hands into the mat. Look up, shoulders away from ears. If you have a very flexible lower back, you might be further up. I'm not one of those people, right? My lower back is not very flexible, but well. We each got a bird to carry. And just hold on. You can close your eyes even if you like. And now, if you can, grab the back foot with your hand with the same arm and pull it in. Right? For me, this is always a nice shoulder stretch as well. But yeah, for you, it might be or might not be. And if you can intensify that, if you want to, you could pull that knee a little bit knee the leg further in right like that and just hold it for a moment i guess we all have future paths ah, let's go tomorrow and the next day tuck that back leg that back toe and those back toes back into the down dog right down dog, maybe shift those hips from side to side. Oof. And then the other leg up and down. Pigeon pose on the other side. Same thing here. If you're a beginner or not that flexible in that pose, you might be up here. Maybe you're further down. And then push up here. Hold that. Enjoy that stretch. One side might be way tighter than the other. Hi, Walter. Welcome. How are you doing? Hold that. And now, if you want to, try to grab the foot, the back foot, with the same arm and hold that in for a moment or pull that in hold that in i don't know what's up with my language skills these days i feel like i'm when I'm, I'm, I'm talking in a weird manner weirder than usually and now if you can pull it down closer to the bum feeling a more intense stretch in the quad or the back leg And let's go. Hi, Oma. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Back up. Into the dark, dark. Hold that for a moment. Move from side to side again. Down. Let's do some cat cows. Right, let's do some cat cows. So first of all, the cow, we inhale, we arch our back, we look up, and then we exhale, we make it around. And you can shift to the poses at your pace. And if you want to stay in one pose longer, do that, and you don't have to hold your breath or anything. You can just keep breathing normally while doing that. <sighs> up and cat. Up and cat. <laughs> Cow and cat. <sighs> Once more, the cow and the cat. And then child's pose. 
to let go of all the tension. Come up, shake it out, circle your wrist. We're going to do some deep lunges now to prepare for the side split, right? The side split. We've been doing the side split with weights these past days and we've been doing good. Yeah. Drink something. So, now, legs to the front here, right? One leg goes to the front, one knee on the floor, the back knee on the front, then we pulse down. And um, yeah, if you not that flexible, you might be up here, right? You might be up here, which is uh, okay too. But if you're more flexible, then you're gonna get deeper down, right? And you're gonna have almost a straight line from knee to knee, right? Pulse down and smile, smile. You can close your eyes. I feel like today we're going to advance even more with a side split. Pulse. 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 If you can, grab the back foot with the opposite hand. Right? And pull it in. Then let go and back. Other leg to the front and same thing here. If you're not very flexible, you might be just here, but the more flexible you are, the straighter the line from knee to knee will be, right? And if you're super flexible, it might be even over split, right? It might just bend the other way. I'm not that flexible. And now pulse down. Keep pulsing. And if you can, opposite arm to that foot and pull it. And let go. And now we're going to do the, um, we're going to do the curl pose uh, before we change the, change the camera angle so that we can do the side split. And we're going to change the yoga mat as well for the side splits because this one is not good for sliding out. So now come onto your back, see your right, come onto your back. Onto your back, hands by your sides, legs up, and we try to get the toes to the floor. Um, if you're not that flexible, maybe you're just getting up here. But if you're more flexible, maybe you're gonna get all the way down and then stay there for a moment until you're feeling comfy. Maybe that, that uh, feeling never comes. And then shift your hips. A little bit from side to side if that feels good if it's uh, it doesn't feel good if it hurts you or anything don't do it right you should always listen to your body and always adjust the workout and the stretches to your needs and pulse and pulse and side to side to side now bend your legs if you can and tap down on one side and then on the other if you can if you cannot don't worry about it again um if you want to get there with 
practice, you're gonna get better and you're gonna get more flexible. <laughs> um, untuck and let's roll back. Ooh. <sighs> Exhale. Stay here for a moment and feel how gravity is pulling you down into the floor. I do feel it in my lower back. Feels so nice. Don't fall asleep though. Okay. Next thing. Right, let's right. We did them yesterday at the end we're gonna do them today earlier so what the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna change the yoga mat that we're using right because the other yoga mat is better for uh splitting because this one is so thick and so sticky that i always get like abrasions on my knees when i use it so we put down the other one up <laughs> Roll out your yoga mat. Roll out the yoga mat. Right. Roll it out. And then I'm gonna put that cam oops up here. Right, so you can see me better. Are you there? Fine. What you gonna need? Maybe yoga block. Yoga blocks can come in very handy, right? For doing the splits. Um, what we do here, usually, I know it might be boring for you if you do that, uh, if you've seen that before, but this is the way I do it. So we do it again. We are going to hold every, every, every side for one minute and we're going to do three or four sets in total of splitting. Um, what I want you to do, uh, if you have yoga blocks, you can use them so you don't twist your hips too much. So you don't twist your hips too much when you're sliding out. And we're starting in a half split here, and then we're sliding out, 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 right? This leg out, straight. And we ideally would love to get this leg straight, but if we don't get there, don't worry about it. I'm for sure not going to get there on the first set, on the second, on the third maybe, but yeah. So let's do the first side. One minute, let's start. And we're sliding out here, right, gently. Sliding out. Try not to twist those hips. And don't push yourself too hard. This is why we do one minute, and we do it uh, more often. So you can see I'm pretty high up here, right? There's a lot of space here still, but this is okay. We take our time. We let gravity do its work. We don't want to push it too hard. We don't want to twist our hips too much. So just stay here. Maybe pulse a little bit, maybe once you feel it, you can go lower, go a little bit lower. But yeah, we have, we have a few sets coming up, so don't push too hard. Maybe move from side to side gently. And about 10 seconds to go with that side. And you can see I'm still up on the yoga blocks, right? I'm still using them at the end. At the last set, in, during the last set, we're gonna ditch the yoga blocks at some point if we can. Only if we can, right? Everyone has a different level of flexibility. So maybe you won't do that. Or maybe you have already done it. Maybe you already know the splits, right? Up to you, up to your, not, well, up to you, yes, but like up to your level of flexibility. Let's do the other side. Sliding out on the other side. Try not to twist too much. Right. Mm -hmm. Keep breathing halfway through on that side. Maybe try to get a little bit lower. 
Oh, I see the nice pull in those legs here. Down to little. Ah. Four, three, two, one, and up. So, okay. So, kick, kick breather. Quick breather. I'm mixing up letters again, right? Mixing up letters. Quick breather. Before we do the first side again. Right? This time we might gonna get maybe even all the way down. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Hi, Jonathan. Welcome. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm trying to get into the side splits right now. I don't really, I don't particularly like this exercise, but I always feel very accomplished after being done with it. So yeah, it's a good thing. It's a good thing to do it. I might want to I might gonna put on the other earplug now. I sometimes take it out because it makes sometimes weird noises when I'm uh, when I'm too sweaty because I think it's like kind of it doesn't want to get sweaty. So first side again. Let's start. And we're in the half split, and we're sliding out using those yoga blocks. Maybe we're further down than before. Maybe not. I think I am. Dancing. Good. Maybe you could come towards one side a little. Touch the hip. To the other side. Back to the middle, and forward, and up, forward, and up, forward, and up. Done with that side. Ah. Woo. Ah. Woo, quick break. Ah. Quick break. You would like to after talk? What's after talk? Is it like an like an after party? <laughs> so we still have the other side and then the first side again and then maybe another set. Let's see. Let's see how far down we get on the next one. But we might look pretty good already, right? Okay, let's do the Second side, which is like my good side these days. Ah. Come to the front. On one side, well, for you it's like going to the back right now, maybe, but you, I, I, to the front, like to, towards where you like torso goes. Your front part of the torso. I mean, my language skills. And back, the other side. Middle again, bouncy. A bounce, bounce, bounce. But dance, dance, dance. And up and down to the front. Up and down to the front. And we're done. So, yeah. If you feel like you've advanced quite a bit, you might want to grab a weight because we're going to use the weight now to pull us or to push us further down. But we only use that weight uh, in the case that or hamstring, the hamstring of the front leg is touching the floor. If this hamstring is not touching the floor, then uh, yeah, you're not going to, there's no need to use the weight that you have to work with gravity just gravity and your body weight because you don't want to hurt yourself ah. 
But if you get there, you might want to have a weight at hand. Grab it. My weight is six kilogram. Um, and yeah, I'm having it here. Hi, Richard. Good morning, good day. Something fell down there. I think it was at the neighbors. One minute. And we're sliding out. And let's see if we get there. Front. You need to go, your keyboard is playing up. Okay, bye, Anime Face. Thank you for being here and see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Come to one side. And to the other. Bounce a little. Back to the middle. And if your hamstring's on the floor, mine is, you might want to grab that weight. <laughs> to intensify that stretch. But just if that hamstring is on the floor by itself. Down. Ah. Oh. Woo. Yes. Have a great day, and hopefully see you tomorrow. Ah, oh, that was hard. We still have the other side to go, and then we're done with the side split. But I feel like we're advancing a lot with the weights, right? We're advancing a lot. I feel like we're gonna get, we go get really deep down and it's a, it's a good thing. Yes. Wait, oh, it's the other side. Stretch your forehead if you have to. Prepare. My Instagram is the same as this one. It's also Ivy Works Out. I'm Ivy Works Out everywhere. So, slide out, guys. Slide out. And down. Maybe. Come to the front on one side. To the back. Bum, 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 bum. Down. And up. And down again. And up. And like, just like we did on the other side. If your hamstring is on the floor. Maybe use that way to push you further down. Boop. And oh, we're done with that. Just the yoga blocks again, or even here. Don't need the weight no more. No. So. Going to straddle a little. So now, uh, if you have an up roller, you could use the. Uh, you could have the up roller at hand. Because I love using it to straddle, to stretch. If you don't, uh, don't worry about it. You could just do that without an app roller. 
But yeah, what we're doing here is we come into a straddle, right? A straddle here. Um, if you're a beginner, you want to have your hands behind your back, pushing to the front here, right? With a straight back, leading with your chest, or even with an arch back, but never with a round back, right? There's no point in doing this. No. No. So, hands behind your back, pushing to the front. If you are more flexible already, you could have your hands in front, as long as your back is straight and you're leading with your chest, and then pulsing back in front here. Hallo, Bürste. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Guten Tag, guten Tag. Das ist die Reklamation. Tausche schön in eine Nähen gegen neue Version. Bist du bereit für später für Zombies töten? Zombies metzeln, das sind wir bitte. Und vielleicht das Krankenhaus einnehmen. So, down and up. Down and up. Man ist nie bereit, das stimmt. Das stimmt. Man ist nie bereit. Man macht einfach, man reagiert einfach. Down and up. And now, um, if you have the up roller, it's a super good, super good uh, uh, prop to train that straddle stretch because you can roll out come to the front with a straight back and roll back in right uh, actually i learned to straddle or i my straddle got like really boosted by using the up roller so if you have one uh use it if you don't have one you might just want to get one for stretching because it's very useful you could just you could walk out and in as well right but with the up roller it's just more natural it's easier it's taking a bit of the load out of it and it's better uh it's easier to do that with a straight back so you're actually advancing a lot easier than uh when than with other methods so roll out and roll in out and in Right, with a straight back here. Point, point your feet and have a straight back. Roll. And down. Roll. And down. Now we keep doing that. And if you don't have that, then I want you to think, if you don't have the upper, then try to come down, leading with your chest, rolling your bum up, and your hips down, right? Like this. Oh, and in and out. And you might be feeling that you're getting closer and closer to the floor here, right? These kind of dynamic stretches where we keep moving and stretching are the best ones, I think, personally, to, um, to get more flexible. Also, with those, we're engaging our muscles, which is also very important because uh, it's important to have strong muscles when you get flexible. Because not then, if not, you might hurt your joints at some point, right? Out and in. Out and in. Let's stay out on the next one. And maybe you can rest your chest on the mat, maybe not. If you can, do that. And up again. Put that up roller aside for a moment. Now I want you to flex your feet, right? Flex them. And then I want you either, you could have your hands behind your back, or in front, doesn't matter, as long as your back is fairly straight. And then pull in, pull in and out. In and out, bend those knees and push out again. In and out. Out. Just a few more. And four. 
spit it out again. Now, we move from side to side. Your chest is parallel here, right? And if you're just staying up here, this is fine as well. And if you're getting closer and closer to that leg, even better, to that opposite leg, with your hands. Up. Shoulders away from ears. You can close your eyes if you want to. Feel that stretch. Make sure that both of your bum cheeks are straight on the mat while you're moving from side to side. If one is lifting off, then you shouldn't go that low, right? You're not ready yet to go low, then keep it, keep it small like this. <laughs> so good, huh? Let's stay on that side for a moment. And then on to the other side. Dun, dun, dun. If you struggled with those moves, you stick with them. If you feel like they were too easy, like you want to take it up a notch, then yoga blocks underneath those feet. Right? It's kind of hard to get them down there. Sometimes. Up. Up. <laughs> right, here we are. And we start with the same thing we did before, hands behind our bum. And pushing forward here. Forward. Forward. And if you can, you might be in front here. If you, uh, if you can do that with a straight back, rolling your bum up and your hips down, leading with the chest. Pointing your feet. And again, grab the up roller if you have it. And let's roll out and in here. If you don't have an up roller, then you can either either stay back here if you're not that flexible or you walk out a bit, you walk in, you walk out, you walk in with a straight back. Out and in. You should really feel that pull in your inner thighs here. And you can see I'm not getting that low now. But it's okay, right? It's okay. We took it up a notch. It's harder like this. So, yeah. A few more. Welcome back. Uh, pulse back in front here. Back, legs in, ah, use beaker that connect, ah, okay, okay, so now it works. Oh, the other, you can use beaker with it, okay, ah, so I'll put the, put the apple aside, roll your hips, roll your legs from side to side. Put the yoga blocks to the side for the moment. We might use them again, but not right now. Um, we're gonna stretch your feet. And when we're done with stretching the feet, we're gonna straddle again. And you're gonna see that without the yoga blocks now, it's gonna be, you're gonna be closer to the floor in case that you were using the yoga blocks. So 
we come, we roll up on that foot here, right? Up and down, up and down. Be gentle with yourself. If your foot is cramping, stop doing that. And let's do the other side. Up and up. Now both, if you can. But this is very advanced, so if this is too hard, don't do it. And down. Wiggle your toes. And now the straddle again. Let's see how far we get down, like how easy we get down. Legs wide, right? If you're a beginner, if you cannot get to the front with a straight back, you're still back here with your hands. Totally fine. If you're more flexible, point the feet, stick the bum up, roll the hips down, leading with your chest and walk down towards the floor. Oof. How does that feel? <sighs> Easier than before, right? <sighs> Let's stay here for a moment. Let gravity pull you down, push you down, pull you, pull. But gravity pulls. Ah, there we go. Legs in. <laughs> My inner thighs. They're so wobbly. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Boop. Nice. Well, yeah, it's just, there's just too many idiots in this world. Bam. So, I'm going to get Cam down again. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> So we're gonna do a few stretches for our backs and our um, and our shoulders before we stretch our legs a little bit more. So first thing, if you can, uh, bring your fingers here together. If you cannot, then just stick like this, right? This is fine too. But if you can bring those hands together, you know, uh, yeah, intertwine them more like hook them, hook your Fingers together and hold that nice stretch for your arms. Unhook and other side. I have to cut my fingernails, I noticed that in that move. Thanks, Richard. Bring those fingers together behind your back and pull the arms up, shoulders down. Move your arms from side to side. Oh. Come onto our belly. Hands underneath our shoulders. Right, and we come up into a cobra. Shoulders down. We're hanging here. Look up, shoulders away from ears. Right. Easier than other side touching. 
One side you find it easier than the other one. Yeah, well, it's still it's normal, right? Because usually, like, we have one shoulder that's way more mobile than the other one. It's usually shoulder mobility. Because we use one shoulder more than the other for, for certain things. And now I want you to, like, rotate those shoulders. Right? And not the head, right? We're not moving the head, we're moving the shoulders. I know it's tricky at the beginning to get the juice, but... You can do that. And the other way around. Uh, let it hang. Head back, right away from shoulders. And then lean towards one side and towards the other. Switching from side to side. And then into child's pose. Ah, oh, into child's pose to release all the tension. Wow, I always feel like, I actually feel that a lot. Like when I get from the cobra into the child's pose, I feel like something is releasing back there in my lower back. It feels like something is kind of exploding. Like a little explosion. Let's stay here for a moment. And since we were talking about shoulder mobility, if you have a band or you could just use a towel as well, grab it, right? And then I want you to rotate that back and forth here, like to rotate through your shoulders. And if you can just get up onto here, you just go up onto here, right? No need to go all the way. And there. Ooh. This is really good for our shoulders and our shoulder mobility. one side and then on the other or just halfway if you can just go halfway just go halfway right this is fine too just a few more last one Go. Rotate your head to one side and then to the other. Look from left to right. Here's the shoulder. And then let's do some more leg stretches. So we come to our side. Hi, PB. We come onto our side here, right into a nice, nice position, relaxing. And then, depending on your flexibility, we'll decide what you do. So if you are very flexible, you can grab your heel. If you're not very flexible, then you just grab your thigh. Or you're just trying to. Get that leg straight there somehow and get it closer to you but yeah if you're more flexible you might be able to grab that heel and pull that in here just holding it Okay. 
Now, if this is easy, the next step would be to try to tap the floor here. You do that three times. One. Two. And three. Now, if you can, straighten that leg there. So both legs are straight. And then let go for a moment. Relax. We're gonna do another advanced thing. Um, if you cannot do it, don't worry about it. Just do the normal thing where you just like hold your leg here, right up here. But if you're more flexible, then um, put that elbow underneath the leg here, underneath the knee. Bring both of your fingers together, your hands together, both of your fingers, both of your hands together and straighten that leg and then maybe you have to have the other leg like bent like this which is fine right or you could even extend that back leg there and then let go gently and let's come to the other side and yeah, we can actually put the yoga blocks away. We're not going to need them anymore. So other side, same game. If you are not that flexible, like first of all, we're coming to this nice comfy side position here. Ah, chilling. And if you're not very flexible, the first thing you want to do is just like grab that leg somewhere and pull it in. You could also put a towel around the foot or a bend, would be easier. And if you're more flexible and you could grab that heel, then I want you to grab that heel and just hold that stretch for a moment. One moment in time. It is so That sometimes happens. Now, if this is easy for you, then tap down and up three times, right? I find this hard on that side because that side is at the moment the side that's less flexible for me. Two. And last one. Three. And up, let go. And yeah, we're gonna do the more advanced thing in a second. But like before, if uh, if this was already too hard for you, you just stick with trying to get that leg straight close towards you. <sighs> and let's wait for a little moment. Ah, we forgot one thing, we forgot one thing. Before we get through that, we could also do this one and extend the leg. I didn't do that, right? We have to do that too. Okay. Right, this one as well. So, now that we did that, we take a little break before we do the thing where we hook the elbow underneath the knee. Right? Which for me on that side is gonna be harder. Oh well, we're gonna do it anyway. I'm getting tired guys and hungry. Oh, I'm gonna eat something soon after the stream. I'm gonna prepare myself a huge bowl of salad like two kilograms <laughs> and uh, Yeah, I have to buy water as well. Like this is like all the water I have left There's no much not more water here. Ah, I have to buy water Thank you, Richard So, like that.
straight in that leg. First of all, you straighten that leg, if you can. Wow, this side, I feel such a more intense pull on that side. And now, if you can, the cost of living, oh, I imagine that must be super expensive. I mean, that's like we went like from Palma, like from living in a city here on the island to live in the interior on the countryside in a village because like we just couldn't afford that anymore. It was so getting so expensive. Hold it for a little bit longer. And ah, gently let go. Ah. On to our backs again. This is a nice stretch everyone, everyone will be able to do. So I want you to Lift one knee up, pull it in towards your torso, and then pull it over. And this time you don't have to have uh, both of your um, shoulder blades on the floor. This one shoulder blade is enough. Yeah, it's, everything is getting more expensive. It's so crazy, right? It's not crazy. I mean, it's life. It's normal, but it's annoying. It's annoying. Here as well, like the salaries, they don't go up, but the 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 rent, the food, everything is getting more expensive. Before you could just like save money. Nowadays, you just live on what you've got. The other side, pull in, right? my nails I hate that so lady with that and now roll over And back, back, and now let's open and close our legs here, right, open and close, and thank you everyone for watching and for being here, enjoying the stream, for your likes and subscriptions and your comments, comments are always good for the algorithm, so uh, yeah, maybe leave a comment. But yeah, just being here, just watching is helping a lot. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ouch. Ouch. Your car insurance has gone up 40%. Oh my gosh. And how do they like, how do they uh, justify that? I mean, can they just, can they just do that 40%? I mean, if without like, did you have an, like an accident or something? So now let's let, let's leave those legs out here and if you're not that flexible they might be up here right but once you train more once you get used to once you train flexibility regularly your legs will be lowered to the floor and yeah let gravity let gravity pull them down let gravity be your bitch you had no claims at all that's so crazy, like how is that how is that even legal that they it goes up 40%? It seems that seems like insane. Seems insane. Yeah, it's like so like it's so hard. Like like the thing about like owning a car is like not even like the price you have to pay for the car when you get the car, but like gasoline or like diesel or whatever, like your that and the insurance and everything, and then if it's broken, it's super expensive. It's just like, it's, it's luxury nowadays, kind of, right? I don't have a car for everyone who, who is wondering. I don't. I do have a bicycle though. And rollerblades, although I'm really bad at rollerblading. <sighs> Legs in. And we roll up. And Pedro has gone up highest. Yeah, it's crazy. It was it's crazy. I think here we had like a um, it was um, 
how is it called? Like the state was giving extra money so that that was that it was uh, easy and that was cheaper. Like sub, uh, subvention, whatever. Like that was for a while, but I think this year it's not anymore. Crazy. So guys, anyway, uh, this is it for today. We're done. Tomorrow, same flight, same flight, same time, same place. On Friday, there's going to be a stream. Next week, um, there's going to be a stream on Monday and on Tuesday, right? On Wednesday, uh, I won't be here. I'll be traveling to see my dad. So I won't be streaming Wednesday next week and I won't be streaming on Friday. Uh, but I'm going to make a post about that. So the stream tomorrow and the, the next four streams are just safe. So don't worry too much about it. Thank you so much, everyone. See you tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday and uh, enjoy. Enjoy while you can. Bye bye. Now, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you for your support and for being here always when you can. Da, 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 da.